earring back coated with flux or post earring post go ahead and find a little hole for it in the block and you'll just stick it in there because that's going to hold it up so this is sweat soldering there we go I'm going to use the little torch. You can use the big one if you want. Oh, this one might not be on. Let's just use the big one. I'm using the little tip because I don't need a whole lot of heat and I need it to be pretty focused. This says lock. That's the way you need to turn it. Turning this will get it started, but you actually have to lock it with the neck, okay? We'll use easy, which is one, two, that's hard, that's medium. This is easy. Okay. Um, I don't have, of course, any pieces that I need. I don't know if you can focus on this, but this is the size that you want. Like you don't need much, okay. but a, a decent size, so. Flux. Torch. Solder pick. I like to heat the solder pick until it's bright red. So what was on there was a bunch of goopy flux, so I'm just cleaning it off. So see how it's more of a point now instead of all that weird stuff all over the sides? Sometimes it doesn't pick up right away, no big deal. Picked it up, go over here to my post, preheat the post just a little bit, drop that solder on top. And just barely melt it, which we just did. Now I'm going to flip it over and put it on here. So I just need to make sure that this little guy is stable. I'm actually going to use this block because it's a little bit more firm. This guy wobbles too much. Oh, look at all that flux in there. It's like a flux party. We don't need that much. Okay. That's probably cool enough to touch now. Um, something like that. Okay. And the trick here is that you want to heat the bottom, not the post. So heating the bottom, anchor your hand, make sure that the post is straight up and down, and then hold it where you want it to be. Oh, that's all. Did you see it move around? It wanted yeah. to lift. That's all the flux underneath. Come on, friend. There we go. Yeah, it feels better. Okay, so now I'm just heating the bottom. And the minute, there it goes. You have to hold it there for a second. Wait for the solder to firm back up because it's so liquid. 